Angel. Welcome back to my channel and to question number 11 for the YouTube Pagan Challenge, which is, what does the sun mean to you? The sun for me has four phases, probably to most people, but this isn't something that I find that when people generally talk about, at least not in my circles, so it's kind of a cool question. I wrote notes because again, I am forgetful. I'm just going to go through them and explain a little bit as I go through them. The first phase is sunrise. Um, this is the surge of energy. The, it, 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 it vitalizes us and prepares us for the day. It's time to set your intentions for the day and focus. Um, this phase is generally strongest in the spring. I love mornings because I'll get up, especially when it's like a beautiful day out. I'll get up, I'll open up the doors and so I can look out the glass doors. The family's sleeping, all the animals are sleeping. I'll get my coffee, get see the birds. And it's just, um, it's a very peaceful time. And it's a time where I can kind of figure out what am I going to do today? What is, what do I need to get done today? So it's that it's, it's that time where I'm planning and I'm focusing on what I want to do. Um, the next one is sun high or high noon. Uh, this is the peak of the sun's energy. It shifts and begins to decline at this time. We feel that shift in our being, um, in our own energy levels. This time, right before that shift, is a time of action. It's a time when you're getting things done. The sun is high, you feel that energy, and it's just, you know, you feel energized and you're just going about your day and getting things done. This phase I find is strongest in the summer. So I connect with high noon with summer and sunrise with spring. Sunset is our entire being feels the departure of the sun. It's going into its dormant time, at least in certain parts, on certain parts of the, the world. And um, we start to slow down and prepare to rest. So this time, this time of the, the sun's phase is um, the relaxing time. So you have focus, action, and relaxing. This phase is the strongest I find in autumn. So I connect the sunset with autumn. And then the last one is midnight. Um, it's a quiet, it's a quiet time in our spirit. This is the greatest balance when solar energy is absent, but it's also starting again. It's that, it's that balancing time, that, it, it, that shift time, almost like at Yule when that shift happens from when it's the, you know, the sun's gone to when it's coming back. It's that same kind of energy. Um, this is also when the sun's energies through, through the earth are still really prominent and sort of uh, humming in the earth. And so when the sun is gone, we have a time where that high energy is not there. So we, we can feel it in Mother Earth and we can, um, because of midnight, we go very deep inside ourselves. So we're sleeping, relaxing. We're in the very lowest ebb of our emotional, our mental and spiritual state. So we can get very connected to Mother Earth through that sun's energy. And the midnight, I connect that with winter. Because we're very, in wintertime, you go within yourself. And at midnight, you're sleeping, you're within yourself, you know, you're dreaming, you're in that, that, that's, I can't remember if it's called beta state, alpha state, I can't remember. But anyways, all in all, everybody knows the sun, when it, when it comes back in the spring and the summer, it's the, it's, it's an exciting time. Everything's blooming in the spring and it's just, things are starting to grow and you get that that energy of what could be and in the summer you have all of this feeling of abundance so in summer and spring and summer you have a, a lot of high energy energy feelings but we can't forget about when the sun goes down and when it's completely gone those are also phases of the sun so 
those are what that's what the sun means to me besides the fact that the sun is if we're talking about the sun being the sun god you know um i look at the sun being more as phases than the sun god although i do look as the sun as as a god figure not necessarily worshiping the sun but that energy that that god energy feeling from it so anyways that's my take on what the sun means to me if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down below would love to hear from you guys and until next time next week for the next question i will see you guys later blessed be bye